Today I want to talk to you about a topic that I see many photographers and small businesses struggle with, which is blogging. We all find excuses for not to blog, so I'm going to be covering some of those excuses and giving you answers and tips of how you can become a blogger. The number one excuse I hear from photographers is, excuse it, I don't have time to blog. I don't know how you do it, but there's just no time in the day to blog. Two notifications. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I have any new notifications. Mm -hmm. Did you did you see that other thing? Very welcome in the world. It's like Ooh, haven't heard from him lately. Wonder what the photo groups are saying. Women's group. Mm -hmm. Oh, three notifications. Like, not so much. Oh. New friend request. I don't think so. Oh, Ooh, three, three Facebook notifications. I think I want some coffee. Dunkin' Donuts. I'm ready to start some work. Yeah. Oh, wedding dresses. My team feels right over here. Wait, 11 notifications. Hold on. Oh, time to check Instagram. I want to follow actor Brian White. As we can see, photographers actually have a lot more time than they think they do. We need to really hyper focus and put our efforts in the right place. So some tips I have for you is number one, take an hour off of your Facebook time a day and you will have an extra five hours a week. So Fusa, how do you do that? How do you really get off? Um, it's so easy to get caught up with all of that. And I really struggle with this and this is like a daily thing for me where I have to really work. So here's some tips. Number one, I suggest deleting the Facebook app either from your iPhone or from your iPad. Just keep one, not both. Number two is leave the 30 groups that you're on Facebook and really just commit to a few that have helped you be productive. It's so easy to just be added and chat all day. And we all have phones or FOMS. Have you heard of that? Fear of missing something. Somebody types in the Facebook group oh, and then we're like, oh. What's so-and-so going to say? Who's going to reply? I've been wondering about that too. So we all have this fear of missing something. Well, guess what? The internet doesn't sleep. So if you log off Facebook for three days straight and you come back, guess what? It's all going to be there. If it's drama you like to watch, it's going to be there. If it's jokes, it's going to be there. If it's funny videos, it's going to be there. If it's advice, it's going to be there. The problem is lots of times we're in these groups and we're not being productive. So another tip that I've learned from my fellow vloggers is surround yourself with doers. Doers. People that are doing. Surround yourself with people that are actually blogging. Ask them how they do it. Ask them how they put it into part of their workflow. I think blogging is wonderful. Blogging has been the best thing for SEO. The best. The number one. WordPress is the best. Better than your website. I, I would say even better than social media right now. Yes, they all have to be integrated and you have to use keywords, but blogging is not dead. A lot of people are saying blogging is dead and that it's all Facebook. What if Facebook changes their rules? What if you lose all your notes from Facebook? What if they delete your account? How is Facebook really showing your brand experience? I use Facebook, but I always want to redirect to my brand. So again, Leave certain groups that you're not being productive, that you're not getting anything from it. Because then when you're only in a few groups, you can actually share and be more present. Turn off all your notifications from your phone. And if you're someone like me that like, you say you're not going to 
go in, but if you see a notification you do, you have to really leave groups. And I've left some groups that I actually really enjoy, but that I just really need to hide. There's a thing out there where you could actually log off Facebook from your computer during a certain period of time. And it's called, see the text here in the bottom? So you could log in. You could do a test of how much time you're spending on Facebook. Because I remember when I was approached by by someone who said, hey, you're spending way too much on there. And I'm like, oh, I'm only spending an hour. It was more like six, unfortunately. So I want that, that time back for me, for my family, for my business, for God, for church, for other things, you know, to have a life back. Um, so you can turn it off. Also log out of Facebook. Don't leave it on. Don't leave the ticker on to see who's doing what. Don't immediately reply to your notifications. Just wait. The other tip is about email. Email is a huge distraction in my life, to be honest. So I've been starting to implement to checking it three times a day, which is really hard. Really, really, really hard. Um, but that's what I recommend. And also, automating social media, automating other certain things like Instagram. I'll look maybe twice a day. I usually look right before I go to bed. Same thing for Twitter. Really having a schedule. And then blogging becomes part of your workflow. I recommend blogging twice a week. If you could do three, that would be great, but I don't even do three, which is really hard. So twice a week. You could think about Sunday on the two days you're going to blog. Let's say it's Tuesday and Thursday. If you didn't have... Our next video, we're going to talk about the other big excuse. I have nothing to blog about. Not true. Stay tuned for that one.